Hey guys, <clears throat> how's it going? <laughs> it's Friday. I kind of haven't felt like I even know what day it is all week this week because it's just they've all they've all just been blending in with each other. Um, anyway, I am glad it's Friday. I'll be more glad um, after Monday because Monday. Um, as far as this whole job, blah, blah, blah thing is going on, Monday is a very big, critical um, meeting. The company that wants to acquire, or is hoping to acquire, or merge, or I don't even know, it changes every day, with my division of the company I was working for, they want me to meet with the investors and present essentially the business opportunities. So um, on one hand, I feel great about that because there's nobody else that can sell it better than me. And it's not even selling it. It is what it is. It's a fantastic, huge window of opportunity. Um, but um, it is. It's very important meetings for me. So it's <laughs> the reason that it's a bummer is that I have to wait until Monday. Um, because I think you guys know by now, if you've been watching, I am seriously the most impatient person in the world. Waiting for anything absolutely drives me nuts. I'm early to everything I go to and I've always been early and I always happen to be friends with people that are late and I'm always sitting in church or a restaurant waiting and I can't just wait. I can't just sit there and be calm and wait. I have to be on my Blackberry or calling people or making up because you can't just have a window of time and sit there and be like this. Oh, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do it. Um, but the other thing I want to tell you guys is, first of all, I am just, I, you're probably going to hear me say this like every week, I am absolutely blown away by um, all of you, by the people that I've met blogging. If you are reading my blog or any blogs and you're doing what I did, which is I kind of started off, of course, trying to find out fitness and diet information, um, get involved. And, and I just mean because it will edify your life more than you can imagine. I mean, the people that I have met I have impacted my life so profoundly and have become, I mean, I consider you guys my best friends. I consider that these are people I want, did I ever think I would ever want to be going to Arkansas? Nothing against Arkansas, Jessica. But I don't even know where it is. I need to look it up on a map, just like I had to look up Alaska, okay? Just like Jackie, I didn't know what side of up there Vancouver is. I just know Canada is this big thing up there, okay? I don't spend a lot of time, geographically speaking, thinking about where things are, unless I need to go there, and then I figure it out. But anyway, I digress. Remember, that's always, that's gonna be the new challenge. How many, <laughs> you guys, when I say I digress 10 times in one vlog, you win $20 from yourself. <laughs> Well, when I get a job, I'll pay you. Um, but anyway, um, I really did. I have been so amazed by the people, you know, my Twitter friends, my Facebook friends, um, my friends. It's it, like everybody's just so kind and supportive and willing to help and willing to listen. And, you know, sometimes poor Sherry, I think that you have listened to me go on, you know, asking you, what about this? What about this? And, you know, half of it has to do with me being impatient. But I just want you guys to know that you're squeezing your cheeks because you're awesome. And even when I'm down, you pick me up and that's great. And and on the other hand, too, you know, a lot of you guys have been reading and, and saying thanks to me for being motivating or, or pushing things. But I, I think it's important that I let you guys know. Um, I've said this before, you know, I don't have some kind of special gene that makes me um, excited or motivated or positive. It's it's a choice, and believe me, it's a daily choice. And I was writing Jackie and Sherry because you know I've been very very frustrated. And if you've been reading my blog, well, really since it started, because I started my blog this year, um, of all years in you know maybe the past ten years, this year seriously seriously. And if you read back, you will see. I would I think. Maybe 60 to 75% of the time I've posted what I've been eating. Um, there have not been times that I, when I have cheated or binged or whatever, I've told you guys. Um, and I certainly tell Sherry. So when I was kind of whining the other day and saying, my God, you know, I don't remember the last time I've just, seriously. Um, 
other than um, a couple of times on a business trip where I've had a steak dinner or something like that. I can't remember going out with my friends and just going for a sandwich or, or anything. Almost everything I've, I've eaten, I if I go, I'm thinking about, you know, what I'm allowed to eat, how much I'm allowed to eat, how that calories, how those calories fit in. Um, so, you know, when I just think about this year, starting 2008, you know, I decided that I really wanted to amp it up. I hired Jay. I started working out with a trainer. Um, I have worked harder and more this year in the gym and out of the gym. I have focused more and harder on my diet. And in my opinion, um, you know, I feel great about my cardio improvement. I feel great about my um, developing muscle. I mean, I, I've really done well on my upper body and my core. My core strength is amazing. Um, but as far as losing the fat in the areas that I want to lose it, I don't feel like I've lost anything. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. So it would be crazy for me to have this blog and not be completely transparent with you and let you know what's going on. Because I'll tell you this, there will be a part two of this blog when I'm telling you, hey, remember back then when I was so frustrated? Well, I figured it out and here I am. I refuse to give up. I refuse to believe that it's impossible. It's not impossible, period. I just simply, there either is part of me that thinks that there could be something um, wrong with me. And believe it or not, I am going to go have my thyroid checked. Um, I know I joked about that before, and I do, because I think so many people will just, and, and they're usually very heavy people, but they're like, oh, you know, I can't, I, I could never lose weight. I don't have time, or I could never lose weight. I think I have a thyroid problem, or I think I have a slow metabolism, but they've never tried anything. They're just saying that, and they use that as an excuse to not try. Well, I have tried everything. I have been kicking butt, and most of the people that are around me in my life, it's frustrating too because they are people that will say to me, you don't need to lose weight. I think you look great just the way you are. Um, I think if you lose weight, you'll be too skinny. Well, they don't see me naked, and I'm not trying to be funny when I say this, or cute or coy or sexy or anything. I'm just saying, for me, it's about how I look when I'm standing in front of the mirror, and if I can you know, push in on my hips and have extra fat or whatever, it's not healthy. And that's not what I aspire to. I'm not trying to be anorexic. I'm not trying to look like Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm trying to look like me. And um, I just have been very frustrated. It's very hard for me to do my blog and be all excited and full of energy and then feel like I'm kicking butt and I, you know, I'm on Jay's low carb thing and, and I'm doing great and I feel like I'm losing weight. And I look in the mirror and I'm like, what is going on? And, and I read your blogs and I feel like everybody's making progress and I'm just here. And you guys are like, and I'm just in the same place. You know, and when I was writing Sherry and Jackie kind of my history and saying, you know, here's what it's been like for me. Here's the journey that I've been on for the past 10 years. Um, you know, I like I said, I've worked harder and longer this year. And this is the most frustrated I've ever been with my body at this moment right now. And yet at the same time, you have to couple that with I have had more medical problems and more issues and gone on and off the pill and all of that and, and that hormonal adjustment to put your body through is, is significant. You know, when you go up two bra sizes and down two bra sizes um, without doing anything, without getting a boob job, that's kind of a big adjustment for your body. So on one hand, it's frustrating because I feel like I have to wait for my body to get back to normal and on the other hand, there's part of me that thinks, you know, maybe I should get my thyroids checked. Maybe I do have a hormonal imbalance that needs to be um, adjusted. I hope I can do that completely naturally. Um, but anyway, I guess I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm completely human. I am not perpetually happy. I have to work at it. But th the difference is, is that I choose to. I choose to believe in myself. I know that I can do what I want to do. I know I can reach my goals. And no one's going to stop me. And no one... No bad days or being pissed off or upset or losing, you know, your job or your livelihood or family issues or stress or um, whatever is going to stop me. It's, you know, nine times out of ten it makes me work harder. Sometimes it makes me go to Jewel and buy Krispy Kreme donuts. But I told you guys about that. It's just a moment. <laughs> but I've had a lot of moments, Krispy Kreme moments up here lately. Um, but anyway, I will stop this now and do part two in a second.